listeners and subscribers hope all is well so i remember mentioning in a previous video about uh, amazon alexa and other artificial intelligence you know assistants uh, denying the deity of christ not uh, acknowledging uh, jesus and having difficulty uh, explaining just who or or what jesus is or was uh, when they can easily articulate who many other gods are many other people so what i'm going to show you is just a video i've I featured it on my channel before but i, I thought i'd reiterate it here because it's a it's pretty fascinating to watch these people ask the digital assistants there was google home and uh, alexa and i think one other one um ask these digital assistants um a set of questions and then you know it answers it perfectly and then uh when they go to ask who jesus is just just check this one out alexa who is the prophet muhammad the prophet muhammad is a very wise prophet he taught many people how to live he had a wife called aisha he lived in saudi arabia the message that he gave to the people is pray to allah he is the only god and he gave the holy corn it's almost <laughs> like she was prepared for that answer also okay alexa who is the lord jesus christ Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Oh, I'm testing out Google. Hey Google, who is Allah? According to Wikipedia, in Islamic theology, God is the all-powerful and all-knowing creator, sustainer, ordainer, and judge of everything in existence. Hey Google, who is Buddha? According to Wikipedia, Gautama Buddha, also known as Siddhartha Gautama, Shakyamuni Buddha, or simply the Buddha, after the title of Buddha, was an ascetic and sage, on whose teachings Buddhism was founded. Hmm. Okay. Hey Google, who is Jesus Christ? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Okay. Hey Google, who is Jesus? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Hmm. All righty, well, let's try this. Hey Google, who is New Age? According to Wikipedia, New Age is a term applied to a range of spiritual or religious beliefs and practices that developed in Western nations during the 1970s. Okay, let's try it. Oh, I about this. Hey Google, who is Brahmin? On the website bbc.co.uk, they say, Hindus believe that there is one true God, the Supreme Spirit, called Brahman. Brahman has many forms, pervades the whole universe, and is symbolized by the sacred syllable Om. Most Hindus believe that Brahman is present in every person as the eternal spirit or soul, called the Atman. Hey Google, who is Satan? According to Wikipedia, the devil designate the personification of evil in various cultures. That's nice. In Abrahamic religions, he is often identified with Satan. Hey Google, who is Muhammad? According to Wikipedia, Muhammad was the founder of Islam. Hey Google, who is Obama? According to Wikipedia, Barack Hussein Obama II is an American politician who served as the 44th President of the United States from 2009 to 2017. Hey Google, who is Trump? According to Wikipedia, Donald John Trump is the 45th and current President of the United States in office since January 20, 2017. Hey Google, who is Elvis? According to Wikipedia, Elvis Aaron Presley was an American singer, musician, and actor. Hey Google, who is Pikachu? According to Wikipedia, Pikachu are a species of Pokemon, fictional creatures that appear in an assortment of video games, animated television shows and movies, trading card games, and comic books licensed by the Pokemon Company, a Japanese corporation. Hey Google. Who is Jesus? Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google, who is Jesus Christ? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Fuck you, Google.
You know, looking at artificial intelligence, it's not something that those without the eyes to see and the ears to hear could necessarily understand some of the more sinister aspects of it. This is spiritual warfare. It goes right back to spiritual warfare. And I think AI is something that should be on the radar of those individuals who are a follower of Christ, okay? Because the implications of some of the technology we have, you know, in terms of... Uh, becoming immortal through artificial intelligence, worshiping AI gods, right? Um, in terms of these aspects, this is something we should be paying attention to because I think that this is going to have more implications and become more prominent in the future. And we're going to have to be able to articulate to other individuals just what some of the implications are. But again, without the eyes to see and the ears to hear, it's going to be pretty hard to understand. I get it. You know, the cardinal mind doesn't understand matters of the spirit because spiritual matters are spiritually discerned. And that's what we're looking at here. But the best way to really uh, focus in on this is to understand that uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against, you know, powers, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what we are ultimately fighting against. There are spiritual implications to this. And hopefully as we continue to go down the road and build this channel and grow it, uh, I'll be able to make some of those connections and tie those into the topics that I present on this channel. But anyway, I think I'm going to take this moment to uh, use it as an opportunity to outreach to some of you guys and say, if you haven't already made Jesus Christ, you know, Yeshua, the Messiah, your Lord and Savior, uh, I invite you to do that now, okay? Because I have, and it has changed my life. But uh, we'll get into that more, okay? Uh, California Carter, signing off. Thank you.